from Linus. Okay guys, I just pulled out a modern 10 cent and the old part of the beach, it's unusual and just before that I got an old buckle but I couldn't put it on video because there was a man here talking to me when I was digging a hole, I'll get it out and show you an old, someone say it's that old but a bit aged to it an old part of the beach, could come out somewhat now, old nice Hopefully all nice coins today. A bit of silver, you never know what can come out of it. See you next time guys. Okay guys. Okay, this is looking seriously promising here now. It's around the corner and um, we make out a few coins out of here before, but no, never like this. I'm gonna give this a good hour, an E or two, and see what happens out of it. Looks very promising guys. See you in the next find. Hopefully we have something nice to come free. Whew, smell of walking. See you then. Just on the surface there lads, modern 2 euro coin out here. If someone walking out that dropped that or just took a break and sitting down. 2 euro. Beautiful. See you next. Just out of here lads. Okay guys, William here now with the roundup. Um, sat home here. Um, I didn't hit too much. Um, it's been very, very windy. Uh, it'd be hard to hear me. But um, as I said, I'll put up every little bit that I do now anymore to show you what I get. I'm going to definitely go back to that um, spot um, around the corner from that old timber post where I was. Um, I already seen it the last 15 minutes before I had to go home. That's where I got these three coins straight away and the old buckle and the shackle. Yeah, one of the shotgun cartridges. <clears throat> so, yeah, and a piece of lead, I think. So I was only there, I think, about 10 minutes around the corner. It's really tore up at it, so I'm definitely going to hit that again now one of the days. Um, but yeah, we'll just go through what I hit. Um, one piece of lead folded up, old piece of lead. Piece of aluminium. Piece of skinny brass. The CTX picks up everything, it's brilliant. Another piece of little brass. Look how small this is. And it picks it up perfect. That's what I want. See, that's why the CTX is very good on the gold. So we go down a nice little buckle. I wouldn't say it's too old. There's a little twirly part on it that spins. So it's not too old, that buckle. Two LA cartridges. Shotgun cartridges. It's a fishing weight. Three old little bullets. It wasn't a very good day for targets, but you don't get every day good. But as, as I said, if I got there around the corner first, God knows what I'd have pulled out of. Um, ten cent. Two euro coin which was on the surface, where I'd say it was just been stripped. And this is what I thought was a tempe, lads, on the video. It's a florin. Very hard to make out. It's, under, it's in the ground there a long time. An old florin. But yeah, that's uh, my finds there. As I said, sorry, now it would be very poor quality. It would, you mightn't be able to hear me a lot of it, but it's still nice to see. It's nice to get out. Like, comment, subscribe, guys. Oh, before I go any further, sorry. I'd like to say thanks to the lads in the Metal Texan Forum. Just got this in the post, actually, today. Um, as you can see, it's um, an ID card for Metal Detection. From the lads, I'd like say a big thank you to Frank on the Irish Metal Taking Forum for sending this out to me. It's pretty cool. It's nice to have. Just want to say that to the lads here that I'm 
very welcome, very thankful of it. So cheers lads. So that's it, that's all I have to say now. Like, comment, subscribe guys, I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.